The A330 Neo is a redesigned variant of the A330 wide-body jet airliner. The A330 Neo is an attempt to rejuvenate demand for its highly successful but aging A330 jet. With one of the best dispatch reliability rates of 99.4%, the A330 has been one of Airbus's best-selling models, and the company has delivered more than 1,100 planes so far to more than 100 operators. Building on the proven economics, versatility, and high reliability of the hugely popular A330, the A330-800neo and A330-900neo launched in July 2014 reduced fuel consumption by a further 14% per seat compared with the A330, making them the most cost-efficient, medium-range wide-body aircraft on the market. Some of these features include quieter engines, very powerful Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines, a brand new wing, reducing fuel burn by 14%, a bigger range of plus 400 nautical miles, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, more seats on board without reducing passenger comfort, the A330-800 can carry up to 406 passengers, typically 257, to a range of 8,150 nautical miles, 15,094 kilometers. This aircraft is weighted towards range and distance, the A330-900, as the big brother can carry up to 440 passengers, average 287 in a three-class layout, to a range of 7,200 nautical miles. This aircraft is weighted towards passengers. For the many customers that already fly A330 aircraft, the A330neo is a seamless and low-risk replacement. The A330neo retains commonality across 95% of its parts and 85% of its tooling by value, allowing ground and maintenance operations to continue seamlessly with both aircraft types. The same crews that currently fly A330s can easily transition to the A330neo after just a half day of training as the same type rating applies to both versions. Airbus designs aircraft and their cabins as a family, meaning that many design elements initially implemented on the A350 now appear on the A330neo. For passengers, this means having a seamless flight experience on board airspace wide-body aircraft with common features like the very latest 4th generation in-flight entertainment IFE experience. Designed to be efficient on any sector length, the A330-900 reduces fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions by 25% compared to previous generation aircraft and offers double-digit cost advantages per seat. Providing airlines with more revenue opportunities, Airbus's modular space flex solutions combine new galley and PRM with reduced mobility, lavatory configurations which utilize rear cabin volume more efficiently and release space for additional seats or greater seat pitch. More comfort for the crew and even more space for revenue, the A330neo relocates the flight crew rest and integrates it in the lower deck mobile crew rest to optimize space. The new solutions offer a redesigned and more comfortable interior, accommodating up to two separate bunks for pilots and six bunks for cabin crew. Utilizing cutting-edge cabin developments, first developed on the A350 and encompassing four key pillars, comfort, ambience, services, and design. Airspace offers more personal space and a unique welcome area, as well as Airbus's signature design elements to create a cabin that represents the highest standards of design and luxury. Welcomed aboard by wide seats and a beautifully lit cabin, passengers also can enjoy the latest generation of in-flight entertainment or take care of business with email and Wi-Fi capabilities. As the replacement cycles come and as the A330neo enters people's fleets, I think you'll see sales accelerate on that airplane because they'll see that the Neo is a fundamentally improved aircraft over what was already a very good aircraft to begin with. Niddle said. A total of 10 orders for A330-800 and 230 orders have been placed for A330-900 as of May 2019. Kuwait Airlines placed orders for 8 A330-800 aircraft. Uganda Airlines ordered 2 A330-800 aircraft. Balk Aviation and Israel's Arkia placed orders for 2 A330-900 aircraft each. Middle East Airlines placed orders for the delivery of 4 aircraft, while TAP Air Portugal ordered 10 aircraft, all of which are operational. A total of 14 aircraft were ordered by Garuda Indonesia, while CIT Leasing and Avalon Airlines placed orders for 15 aircraft each. Air Lease placed orders for 25 aircraft, of which 3 have been delivered. Iran Air ordered 28 aircraft, whereas Delta Airlines placed orders for 35 aircraft, and Air Asia X Malaysia ordered 66 A330-900 aircraft, and Undisclosed Customer has placed orders for 10 A300-900 aircraft. A total of 8 A330-900 aircraft are operational. One of the first massive advantages of the A330neo is that it shares high commonality with its predecessor, the A330-200 and A330-300. According to a Market Watch report, the two-engine Airbus A330, which seats between 200 and 300 people, is generally used on mid-distance international routes. It doesn't need to fly as far as Boeing's new 787 Dreamliner can. That means the engineering challenge and cost of the project would be much lower than the price of an entirely new plane. This is actually a closer commonality than even the Boeing 737-800 and Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft. 
Hence, pilots don't have to retrain to fly the new A330, and therefore airlines don't have to pay for that training. It also offers 5% reduced airframe maintenance costs, thanks to further evolution in the already efficient A330 scheduled maintenance program, now with fewer tasks, longer intervals between some checks, as well as a reduction in man hours over the typical 12-year maintenance cycle for new parts such as the engine pylons and some sections of the improved wing. Also helping to achieve the 5% reduction in maintenance cost is the new electrical bleed air system, EBAS, which replaces pneumatic controls with full electrical regulation, a technology that is already proven on the A380 and also features on the A350. The enhanced version of the A330 series has optimized upper belly fairing and wing twists. The maximum design weight of the two new versions of the A330 varies. The maximum takeoff weight of both the new A330 neoplanes is 251T. The maximum zero fuel weight MZFW of the new A330 800 Neo is 172-176T, whereas the A330 900 Neo has an MZFW of 177-181T. The overall length of the A330 800 aircraft is 58.82 meters, and the length of the A330 900 is 63.66 meters. The wingspan of both aircraft is 64 meters. The cabin length of A330 800 is 45 meters, and that of A330 900 is 50.37 meters. The A330 NEO systems also allow pilots to perform precision curved approaches called Required Navigation Performance Authorization Required RNBAR. This function enables the aircraft to follow precise three-dimensional curved flight paths through congested airspace, around noise-sensitive areas, or through difficult terrain. Together, these XLS and RNP approach capabilities mean that the A330neo, like the A350, is able to fly all the approaches in the world using a very simple classification for precision and non-precision straight in approaches with XLS as well as curved approaches via RNP AR, notes Roy. ROPs alert the crew if they're coming into land with too much energy, should they be too high or too fast, and take into account whether the runway is wet or dry. Such early warning allows the pilot to make a safe go-around decision before the landing is committed, or if the pilot decides to continue with the landing, then the system will, on touchdown, help the pilot to achieve maximum deceleration either automatically or manually by reminding him to do so by clear voice calls, he explains. In the case of SLS, its particular capability is that it enables pilots to fly GPS satellite-based approaches, providing lateral and vertical guidance into airports that are neither equipped with a GBAS, ground station, nor any functioning radio-based ILS infrastructure. In short, these XLS approaches allow the pilot to fly straight in non-precision approaches in the very same manner as they would for a traditional VHF radio beam ILS approach since they present the same familiar ILS-like symbology. Now that we've come to the end of this video, I'm going to thank you for sticking with me and I'd love to know what do you think of it. Just comment down below. Also, if you like this video, make sure you like it and stay safe. Today's video is over, but if you want to see more, there's one on your screen right now and there are a few more fun videos coming soon about everyday aviation technology. I'll see you in the next video.